thought this is a good time to take stock with Harshvardhan Niyotia, President of the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Fikki, thank you very much for joining us on NDTV Profit. Given the troubled, gloomy picture that's been painted, uh, what you know is uh, your own sense of India's uh, growth trajectory for 2016? You know, wear your Fikki hat and, of course, wear your Ambuja hat as well. Well, uh, Fiki has maintained that uh, we should be able to uh, improve our growth. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am aware that uh, we have headwinds uh, in the international economy and uh, things are looking pretty gloom, gloomy there. But still we feel that uh, on the back of uh, public expenditure that is happening and the money reaching the ground, the various reform measures that have been taken over the past one and a half years all of that should uh, hopefully result in improved performance as far as India is concerned. But, you know, the key to India's uh, growth in the current fiscal, which is the year ended March 2016, uh, has been public expenditure. There are limits to what the government can keep on investing. But at this point in time, do you think that the government should actually maintain or step up its public investment program? Well, Primarily, we feel that they should keep up the public expenditure. Now that the money uh, is going into the ground, we can see that it is going to have a multiplier effect. The other thing that we feel is very important is uh, to moderate interest rates. Uh, I know the RBI has done its bit, but the uh, flow of uh, reduced interest rates to corporates, to consumers has yet to happen. So we feel that uh, that's an important step to reduce the cost of doing business. And uh, overall, we feel that uh, disinvestment should continue. Uh, banks need to be recapitalized and they should be allowed to access markets. So broadly, we are looking at an, uh, a pro-growth agenda uh, and to continue with the reforms uh, that the government has already taken up in earnestness. Well... You didn't mention GST. Is that an indicator that, you know, you park that on the side? No, no. <laughs> well, it's been much talked about and it's certainly one of the most important uh, issues uh, on the table. And I, we certainly hope that uh, we'll see a resolution to that uh, in a few months. And I want to come back to a point that you made uh, uh, earlier. What do you mean exactly when you say tax stability? No, the way we look at it is that uh, tax stability, when I mean is that when the government announced that they will reduce the corporate tax from 30 to 25 and also simultaneously take away exemptions from certain sectors, uh, we are only suggesting or requesting that they both be done in tandem and that a roadmap for the same should be uh, spelt out so that corporates can plan uh, their, uh, you know, their, their activities accordingly. The phrase of the moment is uh, Startup India, Stand Up India. Comment on the promise versus the reality. Well, I think it was a, a very, very worthwhile initiative for the simple reason that in India we are uh, bringing out our, we are sort of many, many young people getting educated and coming into the job market. Obviously, uh, those many jobs in regular businesses are not going to be available and therefore people have to look at entrepreneurial activities. Uh, we have a case in point where in US a uh, lot of young entrepreneurs sprung up on, on innovation, on ideas, etc. So the whole idea is to create an ecosystem, to create a, a kind of a enthusiasm towards entrepreneurial activities, towards innovation. Uh, so that uh, everyone just does not look to get a job somewhere, but also looks to set up small, medium, micro enterprises. Okay. Uh, your thoughts on, uh, you know, the ecosystem around it, because of the intent, uh, the statement of intent, uh, it's very reassuring. But uh, when it gets down to actually rolling out a business, it's all about the ecosystem. And I think that's a very important thing because in India, uh, that kind of an ecosystem, you know, there is the, uh, in the in the informal or unorganized sector, there is the Jugar system uh, where young entrepreneurs or, you know, particularly people in villages and rural areas set up, uh, 
you know you can say shops or whatever but now with technology and all of that we are looking at another ecosystem which is for medium small and micro enterprises where educated youth would also look at entrepreneurial activities and to create a kind of ecosystem of mentorship and funding so that they can grow and reach a point where they can be on their own Okay, two areas uh, before we wrap up our conversation. Private sector investment has been pretty subdued. Any signs of a pickup? Yes, I do believe so. You see, private sector investment, India is probably one of the brightest spots in the world. It is the brightest spot in the world. So there is no doubt that private sector would be keen to invest in India, and including Indian private sector. The issue is that they had all built up capacities. on the expectation of an 8% or thereabouts growth rate which didn't happen for several years as a consequence everyone has built in more capacity than the demand that could be generated so uh, i think we are now seeing uh, because of the last 2 3 4 years virtually there has been no additional new capacity that we are gradually getting to a stage where they are going to be uh, pretty much near 85% or 80% plus capacity utilization and perhaps that's the time when the investment cycle will begin again the other issue of course is the cost of interest and uh, we are hoping that that will moderate over time so that would also make the uh, risk uh, appetite uh, easier but you know the export picture and numbers that we've been getting have been extremely subdued uh, you know that must be a worry area for members that you talk to well some of it is because of uh, the massive uh, changes that are happening in price structure but yeah true we we uh, need to be uh, uh, conscious of this problem and we have to address that if, uh, we are not isolated in this world china uh, is slowing down and that is going to have major repercussions all over the world including to india uh we are uh, i i do feel that it's an area of concern but not of alarm yet and i'm sure that uh, policy makers would be addressing those challenges and seeing how we can keep up the exports mr nyote we're going to leave it at that thank you very much for joining us on ndtv profit and of course we look forward to more frequent conversations uh, running up to the budget and in the budget and post budget analysis